Our next Hall of Famer, Dion Figures, football, 1988 to 1992. Dion was a consensus first-team All-American as a senior in 1992 when he was the All-Big 8 and Conference's Defensive Player of the Year. He won the Jim Thorpe Award that season, presented to the nation's top defensive back. Now get this number right here. He allowed only six pass completions the entire season against him. He also had six interceptions that season. So he had as many picks as he allowed receptions to the opposing receivers. He deflected 12 balls that year. He was the uh, Colorado Sports Hall of Fame Co-College Athlete of the Year in the state in 1992. He was second team all Big 8 as a junior in 1991 and an honorable mention choice as a true freshman in 1988 when he was the league's defensive newcomer of the year. He was a first round draft choice of the Pittsburgh Steelers in 1993 NFL Draft 23rd overall and played six years in the National Football League. The latest inductee of the CU Athletic Hall of Fame. Put your hands together for Dion Figures. Take this in. Enjoy the moment. Uh, just to start things off, I'm not a big public speaker, uh, but I'm here with loved ones. Uh, this is family. So I'm just going to speak from my heart. A lot of guys out here I play with, I see them, they laughing and giggling and <laughs> trying to make me nervous. <laughs> well, I'm nervous. <laughs> but uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, I'm glad to be here. Uh, I want to thank all the inductees. It's an honor and it's a pleasure to be inducted in the same class with each and every one of you guys. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank my parents who's not here. My father died, well, my mother died in 95, my father died in 98. Um, that's the reason why I'm here. Uh, I kind of strayed away growing up. Uh, my high school coach told me, you have a chance to go to college, you know, get a degree, you know, forget about football, but you can do both, football and get a degree. So I started to believe him, and uh, I started concentrating on going to college. You know, I'm from Compton, California. My ex-roommate, Darian Hagen, is from Watts. And he just texted me two days ago. I can't tell you exactly what he said. <laughs> what he said, can you believe it? You know, two young bleep bleep from the streets of LA, you know, here in Colorado in the Hall of Fame. And uh, that kind of, something kind of clicked in me. And uh, I just want to mainly just, I want to thank people but I don't want to say names because I'm going to leave somebody out. And, uh, and I just want y'all to know it's from the head and not the heart. So um, as the, former, the, the future inductees were saying their speech, I kind of jot down some notes. And uh, I already thanked the inductees and my parents, and I want to thank the University of Colorado for even coming to Compton to even look at a young kid like me, 18, 17, 18 years old, to even give me the opportunity. I want to thank Coach Mack uh, for actually visiting my home. And I believe Rick George actually came with him. Uh, I know Coach Mack's not here, but hopefully somebody's videotaping this or recording it so he can hear that. And uh, I want to thank Coach Greg Brown, my DB coach. Uh, I want to thank Coach Hank also, but Coach Hank was a linebacker coach, coaching defensive backs. And for the most part, we were linebackers. We weren't defensive backs. I mean, we were getting by on talent alone. Um, but 
we won the national championship. <laughs> so I want to thank Coach Brown for coming in. Uh, I worked under him for two years, and my play on the field just shot through the roof. I mean, we did things that defensive backs are supposed to do, and it's repetitious. The same thing over and over and over again. And we weren't used to this, but we started getting it because some of the things that we were doing in our drills kind of transferred over to the things that we were doing in the game. So it kind of made believers out of us. And I want to thank that man with all my heart, <laughs> all my heart. He did a lot for me. I want to thank all my teammates every year that I played, especially the ones that's here now. Like I said, I don't want to name names, but Darian Hagen, <laughs> Keith Pontiflet, James Thrill Hill, Dwayne Davis, uh, Greg Thomas. Uh, let me see who else I can pick out over here. Jay Hay, he thought I forgot him, I skipped over him. Julian Haywood. But uh, really, I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Um, I'm honored. When I first heard about it, I thought somebody was calling me, joking with me. But uh, it didn't set in until this morning. Um, it was, it's, it's, it's surreal. It's an honor, it's a privilege. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I mean, I'm everything all in one right now. But I feel loved and I'm a buff for life. And like Rick George said, I need to start coming up here more. So that's what I'll do, Rick. All right. <laughs> And last but not least, I want to thank my family, my wife, my three kids. I love y'all dearly. Post football, I wouldn't have made it without y'all. So, daddy love y'all. Thank everybody for coming out. Go Buffs, and God bless everybody.